What's cooking, folks? Vermilion Phoenix here, and today we're going to jump into some more Orcs Must Die Unchained. This time, we're going back into Avalanche, which I've played prior to the 1.6 patch, but I haven't since uh, they've introduced, like, Unstable Rifts, which was this patch. And uh, they have also updated the pathing. Now, it's not super apparent if you were not playing the game prior to this, but pathing was pretty clunky and allowed you to get away with a lot of things that you can't now so we're going to be using uh vegetable amending and lion guardians since you start with those tier four floor spikes and barricade tier three arrow wall brimstone and tar traps and tier one swinging mace and tier two concussive pounder those are mostly starting traps except for the brimstone that would probably be a push trap or a flip trap but either way let's go ahead and get into this and let's see how we can get through it. All right, so here we go. This is where we start. Just so you're aware, if you are at the rift, you can jump down through here and that will get you directly into the bottom area. Uh, this is where we're going to place our guardian. He will be able to fight enemies that come through here or through that other entrance where there is a gate. We're ultimately going to be able to join three different lanes Twice, cut one. into that guardian placement so it's a nice spot now it's kind of hard to close up this section easily so we're going to place right three here. barricades here you that'll prevent a, prevent enemies coming from this gate from walking back there they will turn right instead Let's see. and Almost we're going to place our that. traps i think i can get a little bit closer yeah, I'll just leave this right here. up against You'll this particular wall this. on the right uh, if you're facing this direction, just to just leave this make sure that we're catching our enemies, they will hug this. the wall a bit, Oopsie. so it's going to work out for us. So that's the start. Uh, we're going to wind up placing some arrow walls and some more spikes and things around here, and blocking off this other section right over here. And uh, this will be the only gate that we have to deal with on this side. Okay. So most of the enemies will just get themselves killed just walking over the initial traps that you have set up there, which is great. You really just want those combos for the combo point. And the bonus experience, that's always nice too. Alright, now we're over two grand now, so I should probably make sure that those guys don't get too far. Okay, what else do we want to do? I'll just leave this right here. Yeah. Have one of those. Alright, then you want to make sure Twice. that this barricade hugs the wall. We're going to place one more there. And that'll pretty much take care of everything for us. Now, your hero will probably run down this path. Like, uh, the behavior is still a bit erratic. And we managed to snipe Gabby. That was interesting. I actually was aiming for this uh, Frostmun Orc here. Frostmun are what they call the uh, Ice Orcs. They're basically just ice orcs. They don't behave any different. And then that guy's gonna be greeted to a barricade, so he's gonna have fun with that. You can kind of just snipe them from over here. They don't even know you're here. It's like, why am I dying? The back of my head is suddenly full of electricity. Okay. Over here, we're gonna drop I'll another arrow wall. Let's actually sell that one. I don't think it's going to be too useful. Put it there. And then they have a ship guardian location there. It's really not that great. It only will affect this lane pretty much. So never I'm not going to worry about it too much. We are, however, Unstable rift is opening. Quick, destroy it. going to drop some spikes over there and then get back in time to uh, blow this rift up. Not sure what's going to come from it, not sure how dangerous it is, I have no idea, I'm not running for a score attack right now. I'm really just trying to get through this 
with a solo five star, as I don't think I have yet. I completely forgot what score I had on it. It eludes me. I think a five star this with Hogarth and a team. Uh, since these guys are ice elementals, I would highly recommend, unless you absolutely want to just try to style on the game, that you don't try to do this with uh, Tundra or Hogarth your first time through, as they will have significantly, significantly harder time. Whoopsie! Almost hurt myself on that. Okay, now try to get these traps built before those guys actually start firing on you. Because they have those lovely... Oh no, they're not here yet. I believe on the next wave they have uh, explosive archers. They are never your friend. Not once. Not never. Okay, these guys should be going down in a moment. After I kill him, I will have the... Ah, oh, I missed it. And I missed that too. Wow. S plus accuracy best accuracy ever. Alright, here we go. Let us trap this up a bit more. Alright, and then about right there we will place a nice little brimstone. Still going to be uh, a bit scattered until right there. Alright, and over here we'll place a uh, Concussive Pounder in the center. That will help stun whatever manages to get through there and let the traps fire again. So I think I'll do the same thing over here. And it looks like they got some explosive dudes coming out. Not sure if they'll actually make it far enough to do anything interesting, but uh, if you have to fight them, do it from over here because we don't have any barricades here. Oh, uh, look, it looks like you turned around. Oh, it was just an archer. Okay. So the barrel holding dudes, the Kamikaze Kobolds, looks like they just died. Okay, and you have a lot of health, so we're just going to blow you up. Alright, and after you take this area out, you will have to deal with this one. And so you just kind of work your way down the lanes um, as you build this line up. Get that in there. There's two. I'll never notice this. Gonna just kind Twice of uh, cut once. set up these barricades so that the enemies have to pass through them. And uh, the longer this lane gets Ooh. with traps, the uh, less work you actually have to do to get through it, which is great. Now, the par for the stage, I don't believe actually uh, it may just allow for this and this could be because of what's possible as far as what can come out of the unstable rifts um until i'm more comfortable with where my heroes are i'm not going to just try to let those open up but the part time on the stage is kind of high it's 22 minutes and 30 seconds so i'm guessing something really ridiculous is going to be coming out of here either that or maybe somebody miskeyed the part time for this stage Maybe it was supposed to be a little bit lower? No idea. Or maybe you actually do need that. Like, let me see what happens in the later waves. I don't believe the par time is particularly difficult, though. So while the stage does have, like, a ton of enemies, and, you know, they're ice enemies, and so on and so forth, barricade placement doesn't seem to be a uh, defining factor in how you win this if you have teammates. Okay. So let's Just a whole lot of dudes grouped up right here. Okay. That works out for me. Actually going to come out here and start building this up right on time it looks Ice like okay so for this area over here the mass Z really this. don't need to wait or but you can because again par on the stage super high 
far as the available Let's time see. goes. Almost hurt myself on that. I'll just leave this right here. All right, there we go. Gonna add a brimstone right here. And that is really far away, really? All right, so there's no real shortcut to getting over there. I'm gonna jump through here just because it looks a bit easier. And wow, I even have to come around here. Blow that up, and then we're gonna have to run immediately back to where our guardian is and start supporting him. Because wow, this is ridiculous. We're gonna come through this entrance because it looks like we already have orcs coming through. And I think that I think the placements on this stage for the unstable portal or unstable rifts are random. Oh gosh, don't overrun me here. Come on. Let's unchain so we can kill these guys faster. Don't let them through. Come on. Oh no, not today. Alright, took out Ivy. We should be good to go from there. That was really scary. So I don't recall the rift opening up so far away. In the past, I could be wrong. As far as this area, place your barricades around the pillars. It'll save you some space, which will ultimately save you money and trap pick the trap count. Pretty durable. Okay, so now with this area, if you absolutely want to make sure that you keep getting levels, check are these, especially since. Uh, if you are actually I have to save some money and put some uh, swing maces up there let's do that before anything else happens though I'm going to run around here we actually want this area trapped up significantly better than I have it at the moment you have Life to uh, place this on the corner here or else enemies will be able to path around it if you move it even a half space closer you're gonna have problems so Make sure you place it over in that corner if you want to try to uh, make that area pathable or, you know, block it off. Why does it say the enemies are going to be coming out of the right but there's nothing? Oh, it's late. Okay. I see them coming now. The persistent is pretty much going to help us mow these guys down rather quickly. Now, I don't even need to be over here yet. It's much better for me to go back here and then jump down here to take care of these guys uh, if you are over here already feel free to just shoot that and have it drop down and do a lot of damage for you but you can just run down here and mop them up pretty easily all right after that move this in a space and then you'll pretty much be able to force these guys to path wherever you want Alright, this seems to work out okay. Probably want to lengthen that a bit, but I need a few traps to place over on the far left. Alright, so we're still looking at like 11 minutes for what looks to be three waves. Let's go ahead and get it started. So it looks like we can drop down over here. Guessing right past this area is going to be dangerous. So here's the enemies coming. Let's just spike this up. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can gun these dudes down and then go back and attack the rift. If not, the rift is in an area where the enemies will largely be passing. So unless it's something like a swifty host coming out, which I highly doubt it will be. I should be fine. Okay. Don't have enough time to run over and shoot the rift. Let's see what we do have time for that. Unstable rift was not destroyed. Enemy minions incoming. Sure. two enemies. What are they? Shotgun. Armored patrols. It's not really a big deal at all. Okay, and then those guys are going to run into the few traps that we have placed over there. They're probably, yeah, they're heavy ice ogres. 
Chevy Northmund, whatever you want to call him. Alright. Oh, now we actually have some dudes coming through there. They're going to turn around and stumble onto those spikes. Still doing pretty well here. Yeah. Yeah, let's just unchain. Get it over with. Okay. Got a few more things to do. One last wave to do it in. Uh, I guess that's summoned a boss minion. Okay, it's the Yeti. And I missed all my shots on him so far. Snowflake, that's his name. Alright. Oh, he's pretty sturdy. He's dead now, though. Alright, so our spikes weren't enough to take care of these guys. We're going to run back out here. Oh, and they're kobolds. Nice kobolds, lovely. Oh. They're making a mad dash toward our rift. So this is pretty much going to be premier defending area. Do not let them through. As long as none of them try to take the other entrance, you're pretty much fine. And if there's something else to fire on, uh, the kobolds will pretty much get zapped just by being near anything else that you're shooting. So, that's great. Um, we have two more enemies to kill over here. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to go support the area where our guardian is, which we have more than enough time to do. Okay. Our par time is still looking to be about seven minutes from done. So we can hop over here, fire on these guys, and then they're done for the most part. I still have no idea why Persistent seems to uh, target your Guardian. And that's it. I expected that to be a little bit longer. I'm guessing maybe that's supposed to be time for like a Rift Lord stage bar, and maybe they miskeyed it on Master. I still don't get it. Either way, five stars. Right, we're level 62 now. Good stuff. So we did 198,000 trap damage, 121,000 hero. Not bad. Catching up to that trap damage. Though. 150 skulls, healing wells, wall blades, flip traps. Okay, all common stuff. Not too bad, but that was Avalanche, and Avalanche, not too difficult, just a matter of, uh, you join those three lanes, it will really give you much more time to deal with whatever comes out. For whatever reason, the kobolds don't seem to attack the, uh, barricades on the far left, so that just makes everything a bit easier for you. They ultimately kill themselves on those spikes that I set up, and it's pretty solid. If you guys have any questions about this, feel free to drop them in the comment section beneath the description. Uh, if you felt that this was entertaining or helpful for whatever reason, feel free to upload it on whichever platform you happen to be watching this on. And other than that, thanks as always for watching. I sincerely appreciate it. Until next time, guys, have a good one.